What's up, everyone? I'm Jason Foster alongside Ryan Fagan, and this is Opening Day, the show where we open boxes of baseball cards and give away the good ones to you for free. Today we're opening a 1985 Topps Cello Box. This set is famous for its Mark McGuire Olympic card, along with rookie cards of Roger Clemens and Kirby Puckett. Sealed boxes from this set are getting hard to find, so this should be lots of fun. All right, let's get into them. I'm very excited about this. I haven't opened a cellophane pack in forever. There's the gum. I put that down. Start off with a Griffey. Like that. Should be Hall of Famer, Lou Whitaker. Like that. I was thinking Danny Gladden with the twins. Yeah. But I like that he's choking up, even in BP. I opened quite a few packs of 85 tops when I was a kid, hoping for the McGuire Olympic card. I never got it. I did get some other Olympic cards, like I think Oda B. McDowell had one and Corey Schneider had one, but that's weird. I Neither related to Mike Trout? Nope. George Brett looks very happy right there. What we're doing is we're pulling aside all the cards that you can win, and you can win anything you want in here, but um, all the Hall of Famers, like Joe Morgan, um, all of the notable rookies, anything like that that's even of nostalgic value, and you can win those. The solo packs were notable because they had uh, I mean, what, 28 cards per it's a lot. per pack as opposed to 15. And you could see what was on the top and the bottom, so you had a little bit of an idea of what you were getting. And they were harder to open. It's gonna drop the gum out, but it was stuck. Tom Bernanski, Tony Perez. You put the Perez in the stack. Oh yeah, sorry. My bad. Do you want the Ed Jurek in the stack too? No, I'll pass. No, we'll pass on that one. Andre Dawson who makes the stack. <coughs> Dave Winfield makes the stack. Ted Power sounds like a TV news anchor. Yeah, <laughs> this is Ted Power. He was Ron Burgundy's um, rival in San Diego. Not really. Al Williams looks suspicious of somebody. <laughs> he doesn't trust photographers. There we go. Tito Francona and Terry Francona. Tito and Tito. Something like that, we'll put that there. Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. They couldn't have found a better picture of Rod Crew than standing by the fence. Rod Crew had one of the most iconic batting stances in the history of the sport, and they've got him taking off his hat. That's like not a, that's like an action shot because he's like in the process of taking off his batting helmet or putting it on. Oh my god, that's just that seems a little lazy. Be better, tops. Be better thirty four years ago. Yes, be retroactively better. That looks like Sylvester Stallone face there. <laughs> That's a bad centering. Look at that almost off to the top. Monty Smith, another bad centering. Joe Necro. That was helpful then to get that gum stuck to that spring training. Yeah, it's promo. much better. By the way, the spring training cards. It was win a trip. Oh no, this was a win a trip to the All Star game. Oh, cool. Not spring training. Anymore. I actually have one of those cards at home. I found it the other night. Well, here now you have two. Oh, sweet. Not the tobacco guy. Oh, I got excited there for a second. I saw the first '84 Team USA baseball. No Mark McGuire though. We'll we'll still put that in there. Harold Baines, number, number one draft pick in 1977. We'll put that there. He's a Hall of Famer. Jerry Royce apparently went 
His hair went gray when he was <laughs> mid twenties. <20s. laughs> I mean, I have no hair. I can't complain. So, Jerry, I'm with you, there, buddy. Ned Yost. Put that in the stack. Oh, heck yeah. It should be him bunting, though. Yeah. It seemed a little weird to have him swinging away. Terry Pendleton. We'll put that there. I like Terry Pendleton. Is that a, a Pendleton rookie? It might be. Yeah. It was after his first year. Terry Pendleton, MVP. Even though, if we're being honest, yeah. Bond should have won that year. But, oh well. Ricky Henderson. That's a good looking card. That is. Good centering. Corners. Yeah. You always look drunk or stoned. <laughs> That's not a flattering mustache. He had a very laid back delivery, though. Yeah. I mean, you pitched for a long time. It was very effective. Ron, Ron Washington. Washington. <laughs> we'll put there. Everybody loves Ronnie Washington. I was at a Braves game last year during BP on the field, and Ron Washington was there. talking with someone about the best kind of weed whacker to get. And it was a hilarious conversation. I bet hear. he knew a bunch of different kinds, right? He seems like the kind of guy who'd know a lot about everything. Yeah, I, it was Light hilarious to listen to. All right. What do you think about the overall design of the 85 set? I go back and forth. I mean, it's definitely an iconic look, but but also sometimes the colors don't really seem to go well with the picture. And yeah, you know, I get that. But it's it's definitely a a unique set. There aren't many that look like that design wise. Tim Foley. Saves. That's a rookie. There you go. It's not quite the greatest centering, but he had a couple of just iconic years. He was great. Is it bad that I think of Lloyd Braun from Seinfeld? Too many of my thought processes are all around Seinfeld lines. It's probably a problem. Yogi and Dale Barra. Dan Quisenberry, the iconic. Delivery submarine. Something tells me we're not gonna have a wire of the card you can see through. Right. Because <laughs> this one was not wrapped when we got it, right? No, it, it was. It was uh, certified authentic by Baseball Card Exchange. Right, but was the wrapper still on the box itself? No, they did. We took off the wrapper. Okay. Nice. So maybe will be. So Mike Schmidt. But I don't think they were, they weren't cellophane wrapped. Oh, they weren't? Back then. I don't remember. Bobby Cox with the Blue Jays. He's a Hall of Famer. He goes there. You don't have to say that, man. Right? Yeah, we're doing that one alone. No relation to Bryce. Not that I know of. Tim Melcher. Kent that's I have a Kent DeColvey autograph picture. <laughs> that's weird on, on those 83 draft picks that it's 83 and not 84 that they're highlighting. Well, they go back. Because the oh, that's right. Because the Harold Baines was seventy-seven. That's right. So I should, was like I should pay more attention during our. Come on, show. Jason, get out of your butt. Oops. These cellophane wrappers don't exactly open like the the rare. Well, not rare, but it was weird that they would occasionally spell George Bell with yeah. a J. Jack Clark of the Giants. He's a slugger. We'll put him in there. Oscar Gamble left. Not when he had the iconic afro.
Oh, Steve Carlton. Nice Hall of Famer. Ooh, that Candelaria. Yeah. If you want the Candelaria, we'll put him in there. There you go. You can win John Candelaria. Another Ron Washington. Should we give him two Ron Washingtons? Man, you can't have enough Ron Washingtons. Right. That's probably good. That's good. That's good theory for life. Eckersley with the Cubs. He was a great closer for a long time. Franco. Yeah. That's all of Fame. Langston, the guy could strike out some people. Ooh, Wade Box. It's a couple years. Was third card? Maybe. I think eighty-three was his first. So yeah. More 80s big glasses. Yes. It's like the aviator sunglasses now, except when they were the actual glasses. Two checklists. What the heck? Hey, there we go. Ozzy Smith All Star. All right, let's see McGuire. We've only had one of those. Olympic ones so far. Yeah. I don't remember how many Olympic cards there were. There were at least like three or four. Oh, it had to be more than that, right? I mean, you would I think that they would lot. do the whole team, but I don't think they did the whole team. All right, remind everybody who else we're looking for. We are looking for Roger Clemens rookies, Kirby Puckett rookies, McGuire, and also just mm -hmm. Hall of Famers. Greg Gross's glasses have invaded. That's hard to say, Greg Gross's glasses. Two Phillies named Gross in the same pack. Craziness. Dogs and cats live together, man. That pack's pretty close to the one we opened last. Yeah, and there's a, a lot of these are cut way down, way off center. Well, he must be stole first base one time. Do tell. He was trying to steal second. The throw from the catcher. It was in Toronto. The throw from the catcher overthrew the second baseman, but he didn't see it, and he thought the ball had been hit and caught, so he ran back to first base. I remember that. Now touched that first base because the throw was bad, then went back to second. So he stole second, then stole first, and then stole second again. Steve McCaddy, you got a Steve McCaddy story. Yeah. Um, in, was it 81? He uh, In spring training, 81. Uh, he was playing with the A's, managed by Billy Martin, <coughs> and uh, to protest the use of the DH in spring training games, Billy Martin sent McCaddy up to bat with a 14-inch plastic toy bat. I mean, and naturally, he was not allowed to hit, but it's a funny story. It was Burt Bly, 11 Hall of Famer, Dwight Gooden. We'll give you the Dwight Gooden. Uh, Scott Bankhead. There's a little rush that went through when I saw the Olympic team. I was like, oh, but it's not McGuire. Another Clue Haywood. I'm going to put that one in there. You can have Clue Haywood. Lee Smith. Looking very athletic there. Making a move towards covering first yeah. base, I assume. Oh, look at that. Now with Cubs. Yeah, that There's was that's something they would do occasionally. Yeah, you didn't see it very often, though. Oh, that's nasty. What's that? It's not even wax. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you can have that, too. 
Robin Younts, back in the shortstop. The Brewers, Hall of Famer. Tom Needham viewer. In 85, he did not have a good end of the year. No, that did not end well in the NLCS versus the Cardinals. None of the games really ended well for him. Longest game by a catcher. That's a very specific record breaker. <laughs> Uh oh, is it him? No. Uh -oh. How are we getting two Bob Caffreys? I don't know. I'm always, like, I've mentioned this before, but I always wonder back in 85 when they're doing this set, Mark McGuire was a nobody as far as major league players were concerned. So, what makes them say, let's put, you know, multiples of this McCaffrey guy or whatever his name was and, like, make the McGuire thing so rare? Like, how does that happen? Was it just coincidence or was it part of a plan or what? They had the, the secret book from Back to the Future, so they knew. The Great Sports Almanac, yeah. that makes sense. Davey Johnson. Gary Carter. He doesn't All look impressed with whoever he's talking to. It's good centering, though. Yeah. Ron Gardenhire. You know you want a shortstop Ron Gardenhire card. Dewey Evans is close to Hall of Famer, so we'll give you that one, too. Dane Orge was a hero in 1985. Yes, he was against his former team, the Cardinals. Didn't exactly crush the ball, but... No, nope, broken bat blooper to right. Yep. And I've said this before, but one of my favorite players, because I always thought he should have covered that, the D and just gone by the nickname Onslaught. That would have been cool. Yeah. Dusty Baker. Joe Torrey, Hall of Famer. Who did not manage the Braves in 85. Who was it? It was Eddie Haas, and then he got fired midway through the season and replaced with Bobby Wine, I think. So he should have stuck with Torrey, is what you're saying? Yeah. It was not It was not a wise move on top. Hey. There we go, bucket rookie. Was that the one on top? It was. That's insane. We need to start paying attention to that. I, wasn't, yeah. I haven't been yeah. paying attention. Kirby Puckett right on top. It looks good, too. Had we known that, we would have not opened that pack, and we could have... That pack alone would, we would have, have given been you this. a huge prize. Man, I'm so sorry. I'll start paying attention. Yeah. Again, That's this is our bad. show. We should pay attention during our show. I know. I was so, I'm was so i so excited. Uh, it's a third guy named Gross that we've come across. That's gross, man. <laughs> I said Jeff for that. I can't even be mad. I'm so annoyed at myself for not looking at that. Hi. Whoever wins this, I apologize. I'll send you a couple bucks to go buy a beer or something. That'll make up for it. I mean, you can't drink a baseball card. You can drink a beer. It's true. You can eat that gum, though. <laughs> you should not eat that gum, though. All right, who's on the front there? Oh, looks like Charlie Huff. That is not a rookie on the back. So, I think we're safe. It's Danny Darwin. There's just Charlie Huff in the same pack, though. Yeah, I must have just felt something. Mike Sosha. Paul, oh, he's so skinny. <laughs> That's another thing you notice when you watch highlights from the 80s, it's just how how skinny the players look. Now, obviously, they were not skinny. They were, you know, strong people. But compared to today, they were really thin. Yeah, they were not about the bulking up. That's for sure. Father, son, Bob and Joel Skinner. All right, is this it? What? Mm, yes. I'm going to call you it. Say it yes. is. Oh, Shane it's Shane Mack. Mack. That was the other one that I had. I had Odeby McDowell and Shane Mack. I like Shane Mack. I think I had a Corey Schneider, so three of them. Your favorite player, Corey Schneider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolute favorite. Oh, I didn't look. Damn it. I hope it wasn't good. I'm sorry. 
Walt Terrell, okay, I feel better. And Doug Baker. You are Washington. He had a famous moment with the Royals later that year. In fact, for that reason, we'll go ahead and give you the Porta. If only replay had existed back then. Yep. The Cardinals might have another championship. M might. Although it was only one to nothing. The score, like when he got on base. Although and it, he was leading it's off the, the Mike Young again. It's got the same thing. It's weird. Same card, and it's not wax. Frank Viola. Dusty Baker. We'll give you the Dusty Baker. I like Dusty Baker. Kennedy's. We had this pack already. I think we did. But still, just just having had the pucket, the whole box is worth it. Yeah. If Ryan hadn't screwed up so badly, it would be double worth it. Thanks. Although I could have, you know, again, I, I could have called it out too if I had been paying attention like we should have yeah. been doing the whole time. Oh, I thought there was another Twins rookie on the back. I was going to see if it was Puckett. <laughs> it wasn't. Who's on the front of that one? Do we... Yeah, good okay. luck. It's not. I'm telling you what, usually you can get into a rhythm with opening packs, but not with these cell phones. They, cell phone, they just rip randomly. Well, it doesn't help that they're 34 years old. Tungra. He was all over Philly when I was up there to see um, Bryce Harper's first game in Philly's uniform. Saw a lot of Tug McGraw jerseys. Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. Billy Buckner. Hall of Famer. Lee Smith. Another one with the card coming. Another one card. Although, the other one that we got with them was not... What do you think? It's not McGuire. It's not another Scott Bankhead. The McGuire one, I believe, was one where he's, like, standing, and the background is, like, the sky. So anything that doesn't look like sky is not going to be the McGuire. Tug McGraw. Well, if there's a Bankhead in there, then we'll know it's all sequence. Eddie Murray, Willie Randolph. Again, back to back, so there's going to be a bank head in there. Well, sometimes the sequences didn't last that long. Buckner, Bradley. Yeah, we're off that sequence again. Seven packs. Seven packs. Oh, father, son, Terry Francona. Terry and Tito Francona. Jeff Son. See, I wouldn't have guessed that. Wade Bobs. Kirk Gibson, we'll give you that one. Howard Johnson. Is that his rookie? Uh, I think he maybe did an 83. Yeah. Fernando. You know you want that. Tony Gwynn, All-Star. Oil Can Boyd. With this the shades. Is, this is a new pack. We haven't seen these. Twins, not Kirby Pocket. No. This might be another box where we need to try to do a part two video. This is pretty fun. It is fun, but it's kind of expensive, right? Yeah, but, you know. We'll have to convince our powers that be that it's worth it. <coughs> bad centering there. 
Dusty Balboni. He held the Royals' home run, single season home run record forever until did Mustakas break it? Yeah, Julio Franco. Early in his career, we'll give you that one. That Jason Thompson for years, he was the only baseball player I knew of named Jason, which really? is also my name. Yeah, but then you know, once you got to the '90s and 2000s, there were so many of them. But for a '70s kid, there there weren't many Jasons in baseball. In the rod crew. <laughs> Quick, take the picture. That's almost like they were like, do we get everyone we meant to get today? Oh, we forgot Carew. Oh, How there he is. Forget Quit, Carew. snap it. I always just like to try to guess the players by the back of the card there. That's some kind of veteran. Yeah, exactly. That's how you knew when the, the type was really small. Hall of Famer Bobby Cox. Field. Hall of Famer Bruce Suter. Kenny Overfell. All right, last stack. Maybe there's a Clemens in one of these. Maybe so. Are you gonna? Feeling you're gonna call it? No, it just dawned on me because we've been so focused on McGuire and Puckett, we've neglected Mr. Clemens. Look at that action! You got the the blurred ball there. Tops was really proud of that picture. You knew they were Andy Van Slyke. I always liked Andy Van Slyke because he had my birthday, twelve twenty one. Not the other part, not the year, but the twelve twenty one. I feel I felt like he could empathize with me being a, a Christmas birthday kid. There he, another one too. That's pretty Kirby sweet. Buckets. And the centering looks great. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Set that one aside. Another gross card. <laughs> and a Dwight Gooden and a Kirby Puckett in the same pack. Nice. Another gross card. Two Kirby pockets, man. That's that's exciting. That is not Roger Clemens. No, the Clemens eighty five is an up close kind of of his face at yeah. training. And he also didn't have a mustache. Right. Bobby Ojeda. A good Tony Gwynn. Excuse me, Tony Gwynn, love it. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. All right, two packs left. That's Rafael Ramirez. And Tim Belcher on the back. Looks a little confused right there. (laughs) 
All right, last one. What are you feeling? Feeling Clemens? Feeling Dwyer? Feeling nothing? I don't know. I'm not feeling anything, but regardless of what's in there, this has been a quality pack. This is a box, rather. I haven't seen it on Nipper. True. I always had to go through the last pack slower because you hoped that, like, that maybe that would change it somehow. Mm -hmm. A good card would materialize. All of them were gym rats. Another action. Look at that ball on the bat there, Ernie. Looks Witt. like a looks grimacing. Like a fly out to medium depth left field. <laughs> Look at the way his arm is turned right there. He was trying to turn it over. Another Dwight Gooden. Uh, we've seen these before. That doesn't bode well. Eckersley. Darnell Coles to wrap it up. That was good, though. Two Kirby Puckets. I love it. Yeah. All right, Ryan, we got a ton of cellophane. Yep. We got a ton of nasty gum. We got hundreds of cards. But most importantly, we got not one, but two Kirby, two Puckett, rookie Kirby Puckett rookie cards. Pretty sweet. Very exciting. So, you know, as always, we want to give these away to one of you. So if you want to uh, win those cards, here's what you need to do. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment with the magic word Kirby. That's all you got to do. And you can win those cards along with a pretty sweet stack of Hall of Famers and All-Stars that we pulled from the box. So uh, that's all you got to do. But we would also like it if you followed us on Twitter. That's not mandatory, but you can do that. Um, and anything else, Ryan? He's Jason. I'm Ryan. Thanks for watching Opening Day.